Welcome to Amplifier's interview series. My name is Christian and joining me today is the account manager at Argo Consulting, Alexandru. Alexandru, welcome to the series, my friend. How are you today? Hello, hello, Christian. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Very good. And I'm, I'm excited for this interview uh, because, you know, when I was doing the research on Argo, one of the first things anyone will notice is on your main page of the website, you have time as a service. Maybe you can explain this concept of time as a service. The, if if uh, you are thinking that is catchy, so most probably we we will suck the the bullseye. So do you like it, right? Yeah, I think it's great. <laughs> okay, yeah. Our, our thought is that in 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 the age of a constant change, when adaptability is imperative, we are providing companies and for the companies with with the necessary tools and knowledge to help them regain their lost time and invest it more widely. Our long-term vision is to provide time as a service to process digitalization for companies worldwide. Are we located also here in Romania, but we are uh, aiming the, the whole world. We know that the time in general, it is a free resource, but it's priceless. And this is the thing that we can never get back. So it is a philosophy and the concept that ha has a result in, in, like I said, time used more widely. Our goal is to save, to save let's say, uh, six hours per week, time that people generally spend on uh, repetitive tasks. Or in another word put, we have the, the proper tools to accomplish the goal for uh, five, four days working week with the same productivity for individuals. You know, I, I, I don't think I could agree with you more. You know, as you mentioned, you know, time is something that you can't get back. Uh, and I think we forget about that a lot in our professional lives. Um, so I love the concept. And, you know, you imagine uh, when working from home started, you know, people's productivity went up. Uh, although that maybe the, the hours change. Uh, and so we, we focus more on uh, how important our time is. Let's, let's talk a little bit about um, some, some technology. I mean, how would you describe no code uh, or low code development and its potential impact on the future? Sure, uh, but let me give you first, uh, let's say a wider perspective here. So in, in general speaking, low code or no code is the new way of doing things when you are talking about software development and custom application. So traditionally, developing a business application means uh, a lot of investment in time, energy, money, and let's say a lot of stress in general. We have the new way that business application are, are created, giving uh, time back to be used more, more wisely. Our platform has the capability to, to let you build a, any type of workflow or, or application with no limitation regarding, let's say, the functionalities and without requiring you to write any code along the way. Practically, it is a tool with the help of which you can create application without knowing any programming language. This, this is our goal. And without writing this line of code, there is a, a plethora, let's say, uh, and a lot of low code development, but we have our spot in, in, in the earth. This is also our vision of a digital citizen, which represents a businessman who had a, a process logic in, in his mind and a mathematical logic, and who will be able to create an ecosystem of his own application in his business. In the near future, and I will say in the three or five years, every, every company should have at least two or three local solutions in their technology stack. Also, I imagine uh, according to Forrester and also Gartner, and the great advantage of this is that you can create customized web application with the possibility of integrating them with other systems. In certain scenarios, we use it in, in this way, for example, as an integration between two layers of uh, or two legacy systems in, in this moment. It can also be seen as a bridge between other systems. And in addition, we have complementary technology, uh, technologies like uh, RPA, like uh, digital signature, 
uh, optical character recognition, aka OCR capabilities, that can help us in, in several areas of applicability. Thus, no code will not bring about, maybe you, you are thinking about the extinction, extinction of the professional developer. No, instead, it will facilitate improved collaboration between citizen developer and professional developer. Business and jobs requirements for programmers will evolve to, uh, as low code has the potential to improve this type of collaboration between, between developers and non-developers. Citizen developer can use low code tools uh, to model what they want for their final product before allowing, allowing experienced developer to expand and build upon these ideas. This low code development must be accessible and easier to use for uh, business people, but less restrictive and more flexible for a professional application developer. They must allow professional devs to code more, more freely. This will be the focus of local platform in, in the near future. Although uh, business people will have the opportunity to create their simple app, to have the business view, uh, large and complex, whatever they want, and after that, they still require the skills of more experienced developers. In, in other words, local app builder sh should be understood as a blending model that complements, uh, reinvents and streamlines traditional coding. With, with the right low code tools, businesses can bridge the demand for innovation uh, with few resources and let's say more collaboration and bigger revenues for sure. And, and you mentioned something, you know, collaboration, you know, um, there's so much new technologies coming out, so many different ways of doing things, you know, uh, what are some advantage of software companies collaborating or partnering with other companies? I mean, in your opinion, as I already said, the companies that activate in the software industry in the coming years will need at least two or three local solutions, uh, lo low code platforms support a variety of application and technology and choosing the best one or the appropriate one requires software engineers leaders to understand their application requirements and to be, let's say, agnostic technology against local technology components. We know very well that the, the power of a group or a community is greater than an individual one. And it is very important that we, as a provider of technology, to make this type of partnership with system integration or system engineers to deliver in the market business solution faster and better. But uh, let me tell you another thing. Software engineers leaders, for example, need to consider any type of investment in local development platforms carefully to optimize the selection, the cost, the utilization of this platform. This is true when one, consider the potential lifespan for application built on this platform and the uh, attendant technical depth in a platform change is required later, along with the, the lack of standards or interchange of application of their components. And in general, the evaluation criteria across all platform types can be considered in, in four areas or in four pillars. I will say the, the business criteria should be one Typically, we are including here whether the platform is to be used for a tactical use case or a strategic one, whether the vendor is a ready supplier, uh, we have, let's say, a vendor risk, especially if we are new or smaller vendor, amount of lock-in, so related standard support, if any, and cost it, and also the, the pricing model. The second one should be technology criteria, including here whether and what uh, user experience is required, a ratio of front-end to back-end needed, amount of compatibility support for workflows and then to API integration, as well as API creation capabilities, architectural constraints and deployment model, whether to be, let's say, on-premise, cloud or both, or in hybrid environments and so on. Also, you could have uh, IoT, Internet of Things, the third one should be the development criteria. And we are including here the developer profile required 
including uh, the team support, developer governance need, uh, application governance required, predefined or pre-built domain support such as, uh, let's say, industry processes or data models and design support such as user interface, design system, and so on. And uh, in, the, in the fourth place would be ecosystem criteria. This is, let's say, we are uh, gaining and we are seeing that very mature solution have an ecosystem, including vendor support models and quality, uh, the customer ecosystem, opportunities, uh, partner ecosystem, the marketplace, for example, learning ecosystem support and let's say uh, third party like i said marketing support or uh, third party application in our case for example our partnership model or our partner program focuses on three types of, of the engagement depending on the level of the technical expertise the the software providers have sure could be technological partner uh, but also a referral or a, a referral for the business uh, one more uh, when are the businesses uh, more uh, more approach to, to to the business part the technological partner uh, we are aiming the company that are using their specific knowledge and experience to create added value solution for the final customer using a local platform the partner will use its own pricing model and will pay, for example, a royalty fee for every end customer that are benefiting for, for our solution from time code for sure. You know, um, as, as we mentioned at the beginning, time as a service, um, you guys have a lot of interesting things going on and uh, I'm sure uh, there's going to be a lot more people looking to explore what you guys do. So if they're, you know, if their people are interested in finding out more about Argo Consulting, where can they go? You, they can find us on uh, our website www.timecode.com also on our YouTube channel, on LinkedIn post and also uh, on, on the Twitter platform and all the social media platform we, we, are, we have the presence. Brilliant. So go check them out. Uh, links are in the description. Uh, Alexandru, I wanted to say uh, once more, thanks so much for your time, for uh, you joining today. It was a really interesting conversation. Thank you, Christian, the same, and have a wonderful afternoon.